Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today we're going to be talking about Roger Wardell's new Twitter account and what new information he dropped. But first, I'm giving away a copy of Marvel's Avengers, so if you want to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stay tuned till the end where I'll go into more details on all the giveaway stuff again there. Now let's get started. Roger Wardell started using a new Twitter account, and he said that it's because he got locked out of his old one due to others impersonating him. Now I don't know if this is a real account or a fake one as well, so take all this information with a grain of salt until we know for sure. But immediately after posting this, he started dropping some spicy news. He started off by saying that Keanu Reeves is in final talks for Johnny Blaze in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which would be awesome because Keanu Reeves would be great as any character. But with his motorcycle company and collection, it just makes sense. Next, he said that John Krasinski and Emily Blunt are being courted for MCU roles, but not for the Fantastic Four. Marvel is looking at fresh faces for the first family. And although this does break my heart, because not only have fans been pushing for them to be Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman for years now, and I think that they'd be perfect for the roles, I also agree that they should give new actors and actresses a chance to play these bigger parts. And just like Keanu Reeves, they'll be great in anything, and Marvel will find them the perfect place. Next, Rick Famuyiwa and Justin Lane are in talks to direct films for Marvel. The projects being suggested include X-Men and Fantastic Four respectively. Rick was actually brought on to direct the Flash movie, although he later left the film. And Justin Lin directed Fast and the Furious 3 through 6 and is set to return for Fast 9 and 10. He then said that the next few film announcements will not be accompanied by release date windows. And this makes sense due to everything that's happened, with release dates being pushed back and movies being delayed, that Marvel will no longer give us fixed release dates to prevent any more movies being delayed in the future. So whether or not this means we'll be getting just a season, or maybe even a year is unknown. For example, instead of telling us Black Widow will release on November 6th, they'll say it's gonna release holiday 2020. And for example, maybe just say 2021 for movies that are farther out. But I think that out of all of these tweets, and whether or not this is the real Roger Wardell, this is guaranteed. Marvel will no longer give us release dates, and definitely not three or four years in advance. Next, Marvel has already found their Mark Spector in the abusive boyfriend from The Invisible Man, Oliver Jackson Cohen. Now I didn't watch The Invisible Man, so if it was good, or you liked his acting, let me know in the comments. Although I don't get what was so great about him. He didn't really have to do anything. His character was invisible. Just kidding. But let me know if you think he'll be a good choice to play Moon Knight. Next, Sony once again got their way with Venom in Spider-Man 3. Eddie Brock will be back in New York investigating the death of Mysterio for the Eddie Brock report. So although it seems like we're gonna get a Venom cameo in Spider-Man 3, I wouldn't expect a full-on team-up or battle. And he says for the Eddie Brock report, so we might not even see Venom. But next, he said the names being thrown around for Reed Richards include Lakeith Stanfield and Matthew Greg Gubler. Now I'm not too familiar with either of these actors, but Lakeith was in the movie Get Out, and Matthew did the voice of Simon in Alvin and the Chipmunks. However, it is interesting that they're looking at a black actor to play Mr. Fantastic. And although I wouldn't have a problem with that, I know that some people will. But let me know what you guys think about Reed Richards possibly being black in the comments. And lastly, he said that after two decades, Peyton Reed will finally get his hands on the Fantastic Four, but not in a Fantastic Four film. Now, if you didn't know, Peyton Reed directed Ant-Man 1 and 2 and will return for the third film, but he said in the past that he'd love to direct a Fantastic Four movie. However, it seems like his wish will be granted, but maybe not the way that he wanted. It's been rumored for a while that the Fantastic Four could appear in Ant-Man 3 through the Quantum Realm, and if he'll finally get his hands on the first family, it means they'll most likely appear, or at the very least be hinted at in Ant-Man 3. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Do you think this is the real Roger Wardell on a new account? Because to me it sounds like it is with all the information he just dropped. And lastly, which of these tweets are you most excited for? Now onto the giveaway details. We've gained 200 subscribers in the past two months, and I know that we can easily beat that. So for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, I'm going to do something special. Whenever we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll choose a random winner and give away a copy of Marvel's Avengers. But there's a catch. If we get 1,000 subscribers by August 1st, I'll instead give away a copy of Marvel's Avengers, the Deluxe Edition. I already gave away a Baby Groot Funko Pop at the 500 subscriber mark, so if you're new to the channel or you want to be entered to win a copy of Marvel's Avengers, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment on this video. And since it'll be truly random, the more videos you leave a comment on, the better chance you'll have to win. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.